Royal Holloway has been involved in information security education for a very long time. I mean, it's probably fair to say we are market leaders in master's programs because we launched the first master's program in 1992. Royal Holloway has a very large research group, probably about 20 academic staff, around um, 60 research students and around 200 master's students at any one time studying our programs. So we've been in the business a, a long time and we're very well known. Information security is extremely important now because we're obviously seeing information everywhere in society, in business, in government. We're using information personally and information security is all about the protection of that information. All aspects of that protection from the, the management, uh, overseeing information to the technical solutions used to protect information. So as a subject I think it's a very interesting one because it covers many, many different areas. There are really uh, two types of people taking a course like this. There are, there are students who have specialised in some area in their undergraduate studies and they want to learn more and specialise further in an area like information security, perhaps from a computing background or perhaps from a business background. Um, the other large group of students who study a course like this are people who have been in the workplace practising information security or want to get into that field. Um, the skills they will develop on a, a Master's in Information Security is a very broad and deep understanding of the principles that underlie um, securing information in all aspects, from the management side, the almost social science side of looking after business processes and, and looking after people who manage information, right through to the technical side where people actually are, are looking at technical solutions for protecting information, for protecting networks, for protecting computers. So we're seeing uh, they're, they're going to develop skills right across that front. We see a lot of students going into um, government sector, a lot of students going into telecommunications, into the financial sector, um, going into the consulting companies, because the consulting companies uh, cover a lot of information security uh, work. And they could be doing anything from, uh, perhaps if they have technical experience, they may be going into actual a, a technical component in an organisation, looking after systems, looking after the information systems that protect um, the, the information in that organisation. Or they could be going on to the management side and actually being security officers, overseeing responsibility for information protection um, and perhaps even doing investigatory work when there have been incidents. So a wide, wide range in, in the sector. Security jobs are really all about people, because if we look at uh, if we look at incidents like these big data losses um, that have taken place in recent years, they're all about processes which have failed not because of technology and not because of problems with uh, information systems. They're they're problems with people, and in organisations, information security is almost most fundamentally a process of managing people, explaining to people how they should use information. And uh, so an, an information security officer in an organisation will probably find their biggest job is looking after people and explaining to people what they should do. This degree, which has been running since 1992, started as a, a course taught on campus, so we actually delivered this in lectures. Um, we've now moved into an environment where we offer the course in, in three different ways. One is coming to campus, one is when we offer concentrated teaching over one week blocks and another is studying over the internet. And so students can come in and, and in fact mix and match any of these three modes of study to actually uh, to pursue their degree. So in terms of what a student studying at a distance would actually do in order to study this degree, um, we provide students with uh, materials to support a particular module. So for example, if it's a module like computer security, they may receive a course book, they may receive some um, online materials which are available either over the internet or on a CD-ROM. And then most importantly, they provide access to a web portal where they can get assistance from, from tutors. And so the actual process of studying involves um, using these materials, working through them in a structured way, but also then uh, taking part in um, some formal uh, online activities which are scheduled during the study year. The structure of the degree is quite important. We have what we call a core, which consists of security management, computer security, network security, and a, a basic introduction to cryptographic cryptography, which is an underlying technology. That all students must study. But after that, we have about six electives, six to eight electives. It, it varies from year to year. And these are available, and students must choose two out of that group of courses. And so they can choose to specialise in that way and tailor the qualification that they finally get. Also, there's a project component, as every master's course has, and that project component is another 
place where students can specialise. And it's my experience, certainly, that employers will often ask students about what they studied for their project. So the project is a very good place in which to focus if a student wants to direct their degree in a particular direction. I mean, the Raw Holloway brand is very well understood in that uh, marketplace now as well. So it's quite common, in fact, to see adverts um, for information security jobs where the Raw Holloway Master's Programme was explicitly asked for, and that certainly delighted us. In terms of um, students going on to seek jobs, um, we have so many alumni who are now employers around the world that uh, in many cases students are finding the person who is seeking uh, a, new, a new recruit is a Royal Holloway alumni and so it actually helps greatly when they come with the degree because the employer is very familiar with it.